Hey yo, hello and hiya. Hello, hello, hello. All right, kids. I am definitely going to be blowing this five minute limit here, so we'll see what happens. Read fast. All right, uh, I call this a hummingbird's humility. For your sins, dear son, you are to chop half a cord of wood over by River's bed by this eve's dinner bell's ding, and don't you dare eat any apples from the forbidden tree, neither. On the way to other side of orchard, pathway through forest of trees, cresting over hillside, our great mother opens her vulnerability and nestles life into Riverbed's bosom. I turn away from duty to fulfill my destiny. Taking comfort on trees' roots, Relishing first bites from a forbidden fruit, remembrances of past familial habits, mixing with sounds from apples' innards, wrestling between my teeth, gums gnashing the rind. Yet here I am, senses all adrift against my father, forlorn feelings resonate my bones, contradictions amassing with nutrients, those akin to this tree that I now share molecules with. It doesn't seem to mind, so I thank it for being here and compliment her fruit. After I speak this, this etheric friend wraps her root around me and lifts. A hummingbird springs from the tree, dances before my eyes, saying, Hi, I am your spirit animal. Please do not be afraid. The last guy died, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. She smiles with honesty and fresh pollen. I believe her, wanting to press on. Thank you for following. I have much to teach, but the learning depends on you. Letting go of trite ideas and false praise from your parents is critical in your... <clears throat> I interrupt here because I stopped paying attention to the talking hummingbird. We were walking through thickening rainforest, low brush up to the hip, upper bushes beyond your head and the high canopy 120 feet above. Animals and aboriginals are creating cumbia music in the background to teach the tadpoles how to dance on the lily pads. And you get stuck, stuck in life at various ages, social situations and environmental effects. Chemicals predispose us to behaviors. We take these traits into our adult lives, expecting respect in lieu of giving it, like you with your father when you did him wrong in the first place. Now your superficial anger has brought you here. We turn left to an easier trail. As soon as one tree would appear and be passed, another in its place, and another. Movement seemed to take us nowhere but forward. We are not in control of our cyclical emotions, only our actions. Much like a small horse jockey trying to control an unwieldy elephant, you're in for a ride. Sins do not exist for this reason, as destiny is only an illusion over reality. Only family, experience, and love are important, and you, my friend, are a whole pile of piss and vinegar. We both giggle, and I read her thoughts that this trip wasn't going to be that easy. Taking two unscheduled turns, now being beat up by the partial and partially going blind from the trees seeking retribution for my entrance into their cowls. Falling invisibly behind, faint whispers of tears were about to start when she stopped and said, We are here. A copper cathedral appears within, the, within scraps of light between the trees. We walk through doorways without doors, to an altar open to the world, yet hidden from sight. Behemoth of antiquity, delivering ancient sermons as whispers between the winds. We hear what the spirits are up to. They are watching us. In the courtyard, we pass a gaggle of snakes. They seem interested in us, compelling me to ask, are you a spirit animal? The snake says, yes. I say, are you here to help me? No, replies the snake, raising its head, hissing at my eyes. She continues, have you seen any small children running this way? I'm looking for my master's target. I reply, no. Then proceed to weasel them away, away from an angel acting as demon, if only for a brief moment. Snap. Snake bite, shivs, skin. I am the child being sought tonight. Too little, too late for blood to abate the literal madness that was about to ensue. Nerves twitching. Black cloud, viscous across red meat. Tipsy, wobbly into a final hobble towards a table and slip, fall, floor, pff, ow. Pass on, little world. Life's memories drip, drop, flopping in tune with the grain of the limestone floors and sunlight strewn through the windows. Bright light overtakes all. 
pulling me out of this human shell back into my old self, uh, the original self? Now floating, I glance a gaze downward for final glimpse of cold body against warm floor. A snake crawls out of my body's out of my prior body's mouth and joins the others. Pulled into a wormhole, pathway home to the other planes. Our old friends and known universal connections, all trying to help the human race wake up on their own accord. Light swirls, bends, curls, sending beautiful hues to overtake my soul's hubris, feeling the love that is all around. When opening my eyes, all the light focuses down through a broken refraction inside of a single piece of falling dew, suspended in space and time. I knew I had left the spirit realm, knowing they would never leave me. After 10 minutes of retrospection, the dew dropped onto my leg, allowing time to begin anew. I, know, I now know the truth behind my actions, the yearning for the self-praise of uncompromising pride. I am sorry, dear father, that I have treated you this way. I love you. As I decide to sing a song on the long walk home, the dinner bell begins to ding. Thanks, y'all. I'm John Five. <laughs>